It's uh, Brandon Rapola, Robert Stogsgill. He's on spikes right now. Uh, Zach Hagen, he's doing the mixing. So right now I have a quarter inch gauge, uh, put a quarter inch uh, place on this gauge roller um, that I've modified. And right now, so we did our base coat of this project uh, to get the slope and the elevation. So right now you see we poured out the material of elephant armor and using this to actually push the material uh, in place and make it that consistency of thickness so we can maximize the uh, flexibility properties of elephant armor on this ramp. So right now as you see Robert's getting close to that edge to match to that edge. And you can see this as I'm rolling this product. It pushes the product to depth. Okay. So we did put citric acid in this to slow it down because in this mill it is warm, humid, um, and we want to have a little bit of working time with this product. Unlike yesterday, uh, we didn't worry about it because we were getting the base down. Um, so you can see we're nice and even and consistent with our product. And then Robert will come over here and trial this edge in, but uh, it's important to maintain that consistency so this works together uh, and keeps that flexibility properties of the elephant armor. Uh, thanks again to Brandon Rapola with uh, uh, Fairchild Protective Coatings and Robert Stockfield.